How do you folks? Welcome to another episode of Metalheads React to K-Pop. Sorry if we missed an episode last week. I didn't have time to edit because I also run another channel, hashtag Elevated Channel, which we also do reaction videos on there. So if you guys are interested, check that one out. But yeah, I work full time and so much stuff. I have like a tight schedule. So and Sebastian sent me the reaction kind of late, so I'm like, ah, oh, you. I wish you could have sent me that two days ago, so like I'm, so I have more leeway to edit and upload. So I decided to just to miss one week and upload the week after. So sorry about that, guys. But anyways, uh, Sebastian's reacting to like a live EXO concert. Like it's been a while since we've done this on this channel, and it's gonna be Diamond coming over, drop that, like that whole entire performance it's go so it's gonna be a long reaction if you guys haven't yet please check out my boy band single just friends link in the description below check out our channel and sebastian has his own rock band called mouthy downtown so link in the description below as well spotify without further ado enjoy the show I always like reacting to live stuff because I kind of... I, I like focusing on dance moves a little bit. Of course, the musical side of it is also fun to listen to, but... Ooh. But the choreography is insane. I love this chord progression. This is sick. They're really good live. Ooh. Awesome body roll right there. Wow. I have, I love the choreography. Ooh, that was cool. Yeah, baby, sing that boy. This is such a weird song. I mean, I've heard it before, but like, it's just such a funky way to go. <laughs> this reminds me of Even Deeper by Nine Inch Nails right here. My girlfriend would like this. She always likes these kinds of solos. <laughs> We are actually listening to a song yesterday uh, by Skrillex. I didn't like it because the instrumental part of it wasn't my thing, but it had this kind of like sound to it. The Eastern kind of, ooh, that was cool. The Eastern kind of scale is what they call it, ominous.
That's cool. I, I don't remember anyone telling people to clap. I, they didn't tell them to clap, they just did it and then the crowd did it, but... It's because in K-pop, I guess, people just clap regardless. They don't really have to tell them to, but... I think this was just part of the choreography. <laughs> I love the colors, colors. I can't speak. I love the colors going on in the back. It's really pretty. That's a cool change. Cause that was such a, I mean, it had that scale that we were talking about earlier, but now it has this very upbeat, Let's get some positive, like, vibes in <laughs> from that very ominous bad boy vibe that it had before. Cool change. I like that. Take the people on the journey, you know? Don't, don't keep them stagnant. Because even if it's a deep kind of song or a deep kind of sound, there's still, like, the ability to be stagnant in just that area, no matter how pretty or deep it is. It's cool to have variation like this. I hope you guys understood the way my brain said that. I love how this looks. I, I just realized everyone had those things. That's just, that's so cool. I always say this, but I must say it again, especially with what I'm seeing right here this very moment, the emotion going on with their body movement. Look at that emotion. It's so cool. I love how you, that's, it's sick. But you can feel the emotion just looking at them. And like, when I was younger, before I found out about K-pop at least, um, I used to think dancing was like, eh, you know, I'd never seen dancing that was impressive or emotional. So it, it, I guess the fact that it didn't, when I would look at dancing, it wasn't genuine. There wasn't genuine emotion. It was just moving. I, I didn't like it. You know, I, I couldn't understand it. I was just like, oh, they're just moving their body to look cool. You know, <laughs> that's, that's so shallow, but... That's what I thought. I wasn't trying to be a hater, as they call them, but I just never seen something like this. Like the way they move is, the execution is real, you know? It's really cool. Maybe it's just no one I had seen was as good as this. Maybe they were trying to put emotion, but they couldn't. <laughs> uh, I mean, of course, there was a couple of dancers. I was like, well, that's really cool. But for the most part, for the most part, that's that's what I thought. Um, that, that it wasn't cool, you know. But now it's like, I want to see all their dances. It's pretty cool.
Whoa. Did I just... Oh, no way. Those things change colors with the show? Bro, <laughs> that's, that's next level. That's something... I love that. Wow. I can imagine this live. It sounds a lot different here on these headphones, especially because the quality was, it's not exactly full clarity, but I've gone to live shows and everything's different live. Everything's different when you're really there. Oh, that's pretty. Oh. Beautiful voices going on. Look, hit it, boss. Hit it. Yes. I don't know if he was just a little like taking in the the crowd or what that was but he looked like oh shoot he hidden it I don't know he, he works with them I'm sure he wasn't thinking that but it just looked like that <laughs> yeah that's sick That guy's so happy right now. This whole, sh this whole performance, I've been just like looking at his, his. A <laughs> I wonder what was really going on in his head. Maybe he was having a hard night, and he's just like, I have to perform and put on a happy face. Fame is harder than you guys think, especially this kind of fame this kind of job. Dang. See, see what I mean? He looks so happy. Dang, guys, so... I can tell. Listen to that. They're they're listen to the breathing. I can tell it's it's hard for them, but they're controlling it so well. This is amazing. Dang. I would not want to race any of these guys or like do a cardio battle off. These dudes can, these dudes can beat any Olympian that's ever existed. They just don't tell you about it because they're doing this job instead. <laughs> Bolt, that's cute to them. They, they have the fastest time. They just don't, they just don't care. <laughs> Ironically, as I was speaking about racing, they were running. I love that. Ooh. I want to 
call fake on these screams not for what you think because i know that some uh videos do put fake screams but um i think the reason i think it's fake is because I, I doubt that it was that soft first off and i doubt that it lasted that long because i'm pretty sure everyone was screaming for a lot longer during the performance <laughs> so don't think i'm saying that they don't scream for them i'm saying they scream more than what they're showing in this video See what I mean? There were no screams there. There was no screams there. If he's going like that, people are gonna go, people are gonna die. There had to be screams there and they didn't put them in. They are powering through this. Their lungs are powerful. That was a powerful drop. <laughs> Love that. Simple movement, but it looks really cool. Simple movement that I would not be able to do. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure choreographer's like, yeah, I could do this. Boom. Like this to Kevin. In case you haven't seen his Instagram, this guy dances like amazing. Um, this is probably cake to him right here. But yeah, I've seen him do some crazy things. I'm like, Kevin, how did you do that, bro? Kevin, chill. See what I mean? The scream stopped. There's no way that it lasted that long. It was way longer in real life. It was, had to, there had to be a real scream there too. See, that's how they're supposed to sound. Or maybe I'm wrong, maybe they were real screams. <laughs> I don't know, but... Their voices are so different, man. So different. <laughs> now they can be honest about their lungs. Anyang, I know that word. Anyang. No, there we go. Let me take this off. I cannot, gee whiz. Oh no, I left the line. Hold up, I'm doing a video. Okay. Look at the line, terrible. Anyway, my mom. Okay, this was great. So, um, where do I start? I really didn't want to pay attention to the music that much since I've heard these songs. Um, I really wanted to focus on, I really wanted to focus on the dance and like the, the performance in general, of course, it's a live performance. So, I'll start with the simple stuff first. I really liked the the backgrounds that they used, all those like visual things that were going on. From the very beginning, it fit the song very well. The color schemes were close to what I feel. You, you guys know if you've seen past reactions where I say like, oh, I feel this color. 
And when I was listening to this right now, I was feeling those colors and it wasn't just because I was looking at them. Um, and I really liked that. They kept to that emotion. Um, it's a whole lot of emotion in so many ways because like I was talking about in when I was looking at them dance that one part, um, there's emotion in the dance. There's emotion in the performance. There's emotion in the performance as a whole. Colors, the background, everything, all the way to their dancing, all the way to their voices, all the way to even their facial expressions they have control of. And it's crazy because, you know, like imagine trying to see a performance and everyone's like, how? Oh, you know, like, that's how I would be, man. Like, you're... you're they have control over it. They, they either look serious, happy, like that guy. Like, how is this dude? Like, this uh, he's heaving. He's a human. Regardless of whether or not he's trained, he's still bound to be like... <laughs> but he, he doesn't look like that. That's that's the that's how trained these people are in the performance anyway. So... <laughs> so, yeah. That, that was crazy. Um, my guy... My, my happy guy. I hope he's okay. I think, I hope he was actually just really happy. But <laughs> yeah, that was, that was a, a journey of a performance with a lot of displays of emotion all around. And I really liked that. And you were able to hear later. They were like, ooh, when they were walking to be in the line. That's, that's how they really feel because they're human. But they don't show that throughout the performance. And I was also thinking, I don't, yeah, I didn't say it because I wanted to wait to say this in the end. I'm pretty sure the production of this performance or any performance that that goes way beyond um, them there. Because of course you know that there's sound guys. But I'm pretty sure each of them has to be very trained on who's singing when, when to turn things down, when to turn things up, and how to do that. Because I, I used to do that. I got a little display, not, nothing, nothing strenuous at all, just like literally to the acoustic if it was a little bit much, you know, something at my church. But um, here, there's dudes that are heaving. So I'm pretty sure that once that they're done singing their part, boom, turn it all the way down. Breathe as much as you can, man. Breathe as much as you can. Okay, it's your part, up again. Pretend you don't need to breathe it. Oh, boom, up again. I mean, down again. And I was thinking like, there's no way that they can sing and then just not, you know, because the mic's going to pick that up. So yeah, it, it kind of, I don't know if you heard. I don't know. I just thought that was something that they I haven't learned about, but I'm pretty sure is a really big part of the performances. And I would like to see how it looks to those people, what they do, what they're doing with more than just volumes. You know, like what, what else do they do? Do they have a certain like, compression to them that they, they can alter throughout the song? Like, do they want it to sound, I don't know. How much variance is there? Who knows? Only they do. So, yeah. Um, that's a really, really good performance. Now, regarding the intonation and the, 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 execution of the notes I was very pleased and it is live you can tell because it sounds different you know it's not overly produced it's not fake sounding not that it sounds fake in the per like actual songs that you listen to but there's a difference between a live performance and a produced performance even if it's subtle it's there you know you're gonna add more effects to it first off you could add do something to boost i don't know like treble or reduce this frequency right here and of course stuff like that can be done with the cue but there's there's stuff deeper than that um especially like the metal scene um one of the people that i look to because i like his performances are uh he's from hungry lights tala Tala? I don't know how you pronounce it, but 
he says, you know, like, this is how I really sound when I scream with no effects. Uh, and it sounded completely different than what it sounds like on, on the produced version. He says, a lot of people try and sound like the produced one when they're doing natural screams because they don't know. It's a, it's really produced. And he, he, it's not that it's bad. It's just that's what that's what the, the scene is. This is the industry. You're never going to find a normal scream unless you're like one of those dudes that listens to the metal that never got big because you're a hipster <laughs> but i mean yeah so anyway this is really good um even without production it's still amazing and their voices stay true to themselves that's what's cool too that, that it's so true it's not fake you know like they're, they're they're not a different person live than they are in this studio um of course little things add effects add some boosters add some this and that but it is still them. You can tell that is him, that is him, that is him. It's that range of whether it's gruffness or, or lightness or woodenness, as I like to say, because that's what I hear, that's what my brain registers. It's still that person. And that's really cool, you know, because uh, Royal Blood has actually changed uh when i listened to royal blood first they had a lot of um distortion and when i heard his voice laugh i was like that sounds nothing like him you know i was like that's a different person but it now in their more recent stuff they've stayed more true to their the, the, the singer's tone because they haven't added i don't know an overbearing amount of effects on the voice but it, it was just distortion really but anyway some live performances he's really good um mark something i think his name i forgot who knows? Anyway, this is different. They're really good. They stay true to themselves. They have a very unique tone that is, I wouldn't want to change. You know, I think it fits really, really nicely. Each of them have their own part of this puzzle. But yeah, this is, I loved this. I hope you guys had a fun time listening to me rant about how cool they are. <laughs> you guys have a great day, week month, year, decade, century. Be safe. Don't be afraid. Uh, God loves you. Peace out. Thanks for watching, guys. So comment down below, like, how does this, especially like this performance, like, how did this performance affect you? Like, did it, like, drain you after like, watching them, like, like running all over stage, jumping up and down for, like, 17 minutes straight? Because I probably would, I would probably be huffing and puffing. So, Comment down below, like, how did that concert affect you? Drain you? Did it excite you? Hype you up? I mean, I, I feel like you would have to be at the concert in order to be hyped up, but, like, watching it on, on my seats, I get drained watching. I'm like, how are they able to still keep singing? And But, like, I know, like, they run a tre on a treadmill while singing for hours and hours, and I'm just like, they're crazy. I need to try that. <laughs> All right. Anyways, guys, peace.